Hello, everybody. Um, I think I'm live. Yay! <laughs> okay, so here it is first moment of 21 day creative living challenge. Welcome, everyone. Um, okay, welcoming myself first, considering there is nobody watching, but this is going to be posted um, on my YouTube channel, Loveritas Creations, and uh, other media like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, etc. Um, on Facebook, I'm uh, my profile is Milena Loveritas, and then my page uh, Loveritas Creations. So check it out. If you are interested in this um, creative journey together into a knowing, and as uh, everything is a knowing, <laughs> literally in our life, although we have the we think that it is is not, <laughs> in my opinion. And so, what is all about? Um, creative uh, living conscious creative living uh and why i'm doing this before anything i like to stretch my own creative uh muscle and uh, this is one of the things that i avoid for many years and uh, it's to do with uh, public speaking to do with um, going on live which i intend to start a few years ago this exact challenge so uh finally i come to to conclusion that, <laughs> that there's no point anymore holding back on what i have to share with people and uh, trusting that anyone who watch will have some kind of benefit if nothing else i i believe we'll have a very good fun creative fun uh out of the huge broad palette of uh, different forms of creations i'm um, implementing in my daily living so the point is while i'm doing it anyway uh, I could uh, as easy share with uh, anyone who is interested out there to see how we can consciously use our creative uh, uh, self, creative talents we have, and it's not only for the artist. Far from that, it's just literally for everyone who who is interested to to stretch their creative muscle who is interested in perhaps learning something uh, different or uh, something new even that is that uh, could be just simple uh, kind of uh, trick uh, how to use the um, certain thing in certain way so practically actually basically uh considering that i have no plan i didn't make a plan and that is all the idea having plan not to have a plan and uh, dive deep into that unknown and see where the journey it will take us so forgive me if i uh get in certain moments uh um stuck <laughs> like right now this moment <laughs> like so many things uh i like to share it first and then i get the indecisive um which way to go so uh let's see what i did uh yesterday and this morning and this i consider first and most important step if you like to 
uh, open our uh, channels for receiving that creative energy and rise our vibration, how to really um, become a vessel for receiving creative energy in our lives. And my personal uh, experience for decades now, although it wasn't conscious, I just a um, few years back discovered how important it is to use consciously our uh, uh, any acts, any deed, any thought, any feeling, question everything and, and work with it. So to start with, I, I choose always spont spontaneously to clean my house and at first that was like uh, I'm just so pedantic and they like things in order and look beautiful and that was uh, it, it is true however there is the meaning behind uh, our space is our extended or a body, energetic body. So if if around us is a lot of mess and a lot of dust and dirt and spiders and uh, who knows what else, um, then we can check out for yourself, uh, ourselves, check out actually you for yourself. I know in my experience that if that's happened, and I'm not saying it doesn't happen, it happens a uh, few times and wherever, but each time I realize it's also happening in me. Um, either, either we are uh, more stressed, most disorganized, uh, um, perhaps depressed, uh, loaded with some negative energy, etc. So go back to the preparing our space for that what we're going to create, wherever that it is. So regardless, either is a form of art or um, um, simple practice of something you want to improve or to do even with your school or business or work or um, private life or self-development. So when I speak of um, conscious creating, I refer to everything, literally everything is the form of creation. And... Um, uh so when it comes to cleaning what i practice and i did that yesterday for every act either sweeping the floor or taking off the dust or taking off the spiders from the corners i'm thinking in my mind I'm releasing all, all the ne attached negative energy. I'm cleaning my past and uh, I'm leaving the space behind me completely clear and sparkling and beautiful and with high energy vibration in it. So uh, you choose your own words. You find what resonates with you. And if you can't find... Uh, uh, expression for that just think of something how you would actually love your space to be even if it's not in that present moment so also um, uh, I do implement uh, uh, stretching <laughs> so if I do the, the floor mopping I will like go in the pauses and stretch so consciously also do physical exercise on your body uh, basically uh, after after you try once or twice you feel how ple pleasurable and joyful can be cleaning and for many of you that it is already so you know it but uh, for a lot of people cleaning is 
must to do thing on the list and hardly uh, uh, ever happen that you want to do it because it's like a must do it and nobody like to be told uh, that you must do something <laughs> so this is the key in the in everything not only in cleaning we we have to have a positive reasoning or intention why we're doing it so you you imagine that you are doing it as you having a shower it's just the body around you, the aura, the, the energetic body I'm speaking about. So that's what I did yesterday. And then I do cleansing, cleansing the air with the, with the sage and also, uh, I don't know in English what is called in, in Serbian is Tamyam and uh, you can use anything like santo polo or any other as magic kind of um ritual if you like to you know have to but if nothing else just open all of your windows hopefully there is some sun outside and uh, uh, just put intention that suns brings the new uh positive uh, warm and high vibrational energy into your home if you don't like to do magic or you do both whatever you uh believe in it it's your personal choice and everything i i share here with you is just for uh just that sharing i'm not preaching i'm not uh, telling you that that is exactly what will work for you as it works for me and many others and, uh, we have to find for ourselves what it feels good and uh kind of co-create new path new new pathways in your mind uh that uh, really uh feels believable you you can lie to yourself and they don't um uh, uh i'm not saying you can play uh, that game fake it till you make it this is perhaps just the first stepping stone but uh, i disagree with that that we we have to uh fake it till we make it to to endlessly that can last years and then people start to believe they are lies <laughs> so at least this is in my opinion i'm smiling and laughing because i waste a couple of years of my personal time trusting only in that believe uh fake till you fake it till you make it and what it's happened like a like our affirmations does to us yes temporary it does help us but if we don't act on it if we are not conscious about what we are creating and uh, we can't manifest it without the without the deed itself we we will stay in that uh, um, circle of uh, yes positive thoughts but still we are not seeing manifestation of that what we like to co-create so after the smudging and uh, clearing the air clearing from negative entities negative energy from uh, all that we know or we don't know a lot of things we don't know and uh, nobody know everything so uh sometimes we we don't really need to understand mentally everything but just give it the go, give it a go trust in unknown if feelings in is telling you 
oh that feels good that sounds good i may give it a go and try and if it works for me works it doesn't work fair enough it doesn't you don't have to dwell in it go on in search for some other tool uh, to help uh, yourself in certain way to boost up the, your energy or to to feel more unstuck or to feel more more joyful in your oven space living space or the office space very important as well because majority of time we spend in our workspace so I believe that it, that equal amount of attention requires very work and how we surround uh, with uh, with what items and uh, how we decorate our space. I while I'm here, I will just uh, um, just shortly give you a tour through my salon studio. I'm living here and uh, I'm working here. Uh, okay, I have to hold it. Yeah, so here is a kitchen. By the way, I designed my kitchen. I'm a little proud of it. <laughs> so, and then, as you see, here I'm working. Here is my atelier <laughs> corner plenty of space although i spread everything on the floor when i need to and they have a nice balcony over there anyway that was it here we will play soon together what i like to do i like to paint together with you <laughs> and uh, who knows what else will come up so let's see how if i can see find the time how long and on oh, about 17 minutes so let me see let me see what else i so yeah the steps i did as a preparation for uh, bringing that creative energy that we all have uh, more flow or into the flow how to to start really use our talents uh, everyone has some kind of talent everyone has uh, uh, some uh, love for doing something effortlessly and for creating or playing something so it could be um sport it could be um any any craft any just anything anyway anyway so why this is important all these preparations it is so important is as much important as the journey itself because if you plant the seed in the sand uh, unhealthy uh, or unnourishing uh, surface the seed won't grow and if you plant that seed in very nourishing uh, ground then you will have one day blooming uh, plant out of it so yeah uh, this is why it's important and uh, this is how we reach uh, place of conscious creating because if we if we are conscious about uh, um uh, preparing properly our space and then next time i will a little bit talk about how to prepare our body for it then we give the message to the universe that we are really uh kind of uh serious <laughs> quote to quote uh, about 
tapping into that uh, creative power of ours of, uh, of in ourselves. Uh, we are serious about uh, uh, consciously create something better and different in our lives. So let's go to the next step. Uh, what else I did as a preparation is um, is uh, uh, cleansing our bodies. So basically. <laughs> Shower as a shower, yes, it's cleansing and that too. However, what I'm practicing myself is uh, consciously imagining while I shower how the water rain, uh, rains all the negativity attached or entities or dark energies attached to my skin. And... Uh, going through uh, all the, the um, organs through the brain to, in, in, uh, kind of like a meditation often I uh, conscious uh, meditative state where you uh, literally speak out even loud the best uh, what you what your intention is for that shower so while you're doing it you literally sweep him off away your uh, uh, cleaning your inner body and physical body and imagine how the water like a muddy mad, dirty water going through the drain uh, after several minutes or whatever it takes, you will feel different. In the end, you can give thanks to the Voda that is, as we know, 75% of our bodies. And you will feel, uh, yeah, like uh, rejuvenated already. Uh, so giving thanks and uh, being uh, in that uh, state of gratitude towards that uh, 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 towards the voda is also very important as many of you uh, know so what else if possible i will do that tonight but uh, for anyone of you who would like to really follow this process i will do um spiritual bath and this is uh, uh, this come to me when i wasn't living near the border and uh, for many years i i've been living in sydney and as you know there is lots and lots of beaches and and uh, i I hardly miss on a few days that I never, I didn't go to the beach. But anyway, there was times when I didn't have a, a not even bath or... <laughs> so when I have a bath, like I do have now, or jacuzzi, <laughs> even better, um, I'm doing... Uh, that relaxation batting ceremony with uh, the candlelight and and the aroma, aromatic uh, essences and oils in the water or uh, you simply go for uh, put a little bit on soda by, by soda by carbonate soda by, by carbonate <laughs> Uh, and uh, a little bit of salt in the water and then you just uh, try to quiet as much you can your mind and uh, and relax into the, the water melt with it feel like one body with it feel uh, like your body and who you are is not different than the water itself uh, and or you choose 
uh, whatever it works for you. So that I'm going to do tonight, but uh, perhaps I will leave it now to that. And maybe, maybe, I'm not sure, but I'm intending also to uh, just pop in from time to time when I feel driven to uh, and record random acts of creativity as I go. So if I paint, I can just connect, tune in and uh, uh, maybe just short period of time give the notice or sometime I will just pop in. Uh, because it's destructive. So, uh, I found all the introductions and all this late brain <laughs> task um, gets me off the center when I'm really in, uh, in tune uh, into creating. So if I'm going to cook today something, I usually cook. Uh, not usually, but I, I cook uh, with the colors in mind, which I call cooking with the color. And uh, this is because uh, color, it can greatly affect our emotional body and our energy flow and our uh, chakra systems. And if we implement that color into the food as well as in our surrounding, and we can really uh, um, either boost that chakra within our body or just gain the energy for that spe specific color in that moment. For example, to the, just just now before i start recording recording so what i have here i have a black dark purple and uh, i thought uh, i just spontaneously went for uh, orange bracelet bracelet and orange is the sacral chakra and is to do with creativity and love and passion and um emotions and sexuality and yeah so not to go further into the colors that is going to be probably dominant uh, topic uh, through all the uh, all the day uh, creative days we going to spend together uh, simply because i i do connect color in everything I do or decorate or create. Uh, so I'm not saying black or plain white are not, not uh, kind of recommended, but what I, you will hear me saying is if we color thoughts, our thoughts, and if we bring more color into our our lives, we will rise our vibration, and our lives will turn <laughs> 180 degrees. Wow! Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me think for a second if, if i have anything else to share for the first stream i think i will leave for now and uh, hope to see you next time here with me and although i believe that uh, every creation it it serves its purpose the moment is shared with our, uh, with others and i'm sharing it with you doesn't matter are you here now with, in this moment or you are in your moment where you're watching so i hope to see you tomorrow if not already tonight 
and uh, I thank you very much for stopping by um, from my heart to creativity to your hearts. Bye for now. Mwah.